Welcome to the final Ford inside line for this year. Now, what can I tell you about this circuit? Well, it is an extraordinary racing circuit. 6.2 kilometres in total length, and like no other track that we visit, it's got rise and fall, blind corners, ultra-fast straights where we do 300 kilometres an hour, tight blind corners where we might do just 60 k's. But you've probably had enough of listening to me throughout the year with the inside line, so today we've decided to bring along a couple of Ford mates to help out. We've got John Bauer and Mark Larkham. So without further ado, let's fire up the beast and we'll tell you a story. Well, here we are on the famous pit straight at Mount Panorama leading off into turn number one. Now we've got some pretty diabolical conditions here today, a slightly damp track. And I've got the enviable position of having these two lunatics behind me. Let's tell you a bit about this place. Normally on the mountain straight, second gear, first fourth and all the way up to fifth as we come across the street where the car gets to about 250 kilometres an hour and it will jump sideways. Then it's very hard on the brakes. Back to third gear. A bit of positive camber for turn two and then as you can see the camber begins to change on exit jump up over the ripple strip, the car will slide, but it's a bit down there, up to fourth gear, then to the cutting. Fourth gear on the approach, back to second, a blind corner, down to about 60 odd k's, got to watch the tail on the exit, here's John. Yeah, thanks mate, I've just gone into third gear now, this is without a doubt the best piece of racetrack in the world. It's also the most daunting into fourth, and swooping down into Reed Park, which is incredibly difficult, particularly in the wet, which we've had here most weekends. Had a stab on the brake for McPhillamy, scene of many accidents, stroke the throttle round, about 215 kilometres an hour, on the brake down to third, back to second, down through the S, trying to hold it tight here. A cross the dipper, which is much worse than it, looks much worse than it is. And over to Larco. John, and uh, let me assure you viewers, this is one of the rare times that anybody has overtaken John Bow on a racing circuit. Look, as we come down onto, uh, through Forest Elbow here, a uh, very, very important corner, you might just recall on the right hand side here is where Dick Johnson had that big crash many years ago. Um, that corner in particular is the, the, probably the most important one on the circuit, it determines your speed, your terminal speed down Conrad straight here. I expect we're going to see up around the 300 k's mark, k, k an hour mark here this afternoon. Now we're coming down into Caltex Chase, I think this is probably the fastest corner on this side of the world. Absolutely flat out through here and hard on the stoppers, hard, 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 trying to pull it up down a second gear through here and now we're absolutely flat on the throttle through here in the wet, this corner is atrocious. And we come down now into Murray's corner and uh, this is also difficult because your brakes have just had a big workout at Caltex Chase and you're trying to pull the car up again here. Second gear here for Murray's corner and as we round this corner, this is where we sight the chequered flag and I can tell you I really want to be the first one to see that this afternoon. Well there you have it, a lap of Mount Panorama and as I said at the start there is no other circuit like this one. It's 161 laps. There's over 50 different entries, well over 100 drivers. Some of them we know, some of them we don't. It can be totally unpredictable. The weather, as we've seen throughout the course of the week, can be very weird. Expect the unexpected at Bathurst. This is a place where you can have extreme joy and have the best weekend of your life, or you can have the most miserable day of your life. Hopefully for us, it's going to be a ripper. Hope you enjoyed the lap.